slightly produced now is good. Yeah. What I'm curious about, obviously you've brought in, you and all have brought in Dakota as the lead actress. What do you think someone like Dakota brings to a project like this from a producer's point of view then? Well, aside from the sort of, you know, the obvious things like name recognition and the sort of corresponding financial value that brings, more especially, I mean, I think unquestionably pretty much the finest actress of her generation. You know, she gives, she brings it weight. She's able to sort of make it real and give you the humour without getting it too, too saccharine. So I think she's just a, a really, really good actress. I mean, getting back to the name recognition, because as I have you here, sir, it's, yeah. it's a fascinating opportunity to talk to you about something mm -hmm. like this. She's obviously one of the world's biggest young actresses by a, a long margin, but playing in a very, very English film with a very RP English accent, do you think that might... Does, does that negate some of what she brings in terms of the audience, or...? Actually, I don't think so. I think she, I think she was obviously attracted to it because it's a good part. You know, she's in that classic cusp of she's done a lot of movies, you know, since she was five or something. She's now moving into sort of womanhood. This is a really good role. And actually, I think we talked about shifting it to America, and actually, the lady who wrote the novel was English. It's an English-type movie. It's a universal theme. And she rose to the challenge of you know, doing the work to get the accent um, really good. Has, have you seen it? I, I saw it this morning, in fact. Okay, good. Did you, what did you think of the accent? The accent is flawless. It's I, good, isn't it? I mean, I was, we were dead impressed. It's slightly, slightly creepy seeing her do the RP English at first yeah, sight. Yeah. yeah. I just told her that basically don't sound like me, sound like the others, you know. But she's done, she's done a good job. One thing I am sort of... Uh, Obviously, this isn't the only film you've produced this year, and I, I understand you've got seven psychopaths in We your... have, yes, yeah, slightly different um, target audience for that one, yeah. Yeah, that's an LFF. That's in the LFF, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we just had it, um, it, just had it in Toronto, actually, last week, and it's it gone down really well. It's by the same writer-director who did In Bruges. We had a good experience with that, my partner Graham Broadbent and I, and with Martin, and so we got the opportunity to work with him again. There was no temptation to hold this back for an LFF opening. No, actually, we, we got the sort of we thought long and hard about this because these sort of smaller movies can get crushed in the summer. We were going to bring it out in the summer, and it's as you know, it's seriously competitive about what weekend you end up in. Um, and we thought actually now some more serious movies. Yes, the kids have gone back to school, but still pretty good time. I think September. Quite happy with that. Okay. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.